All right. Hey, um, on my website, epsilon144.com, there's a little category for creative thinking as uh, teaching tutorials. Um, you can visit my site. I have a bunch of teaching tutorials for, uh, you know, music theory, uh, FL Studio, Ableton, um, recording and audio connection stuff, videos. But I also have one for creative creative thinking and just being being unique you know thinking outside the box or thinking differently and i think that's really important especially for artistic um jobs and like you know artistic i don't know if you even call them jobs but like artistic uh careers and shit like thinking being unique and thinking differently is really really important um this is especially in uh art and and stuff in science as well but m like mostly in art and music because you want to stand out you're trying to stand out from everybody else and um if you just conform to if and that's i think that's really the biggest problem you have artists that always talk against like conformity saying conformity is bad blah 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 but then they make songs that sound exactly like the popular songs you know that are going on and like so they themselves conform right into what the music industry what music um is saying they should make to be successful or popular and i think that's bad like i think just developing your own unique sound and really drilling that in dialing it in um over years and years of development but like after a while making your own unique style and your own unique sound is a lot more effective it's definitely going to like when someone hears it um they know oh that's a track by so-and-so or that's a track by so-and-so like that's definitely kendrick lamar or that's definitely you know um a hudson mohawk track or something like you hear it and it's just damn that's like that's definitely lunas that's definitely hudmo that's definitely flying lotus um you know and it's because they've developed a very unique sound that uh and then once they get it man they just keep rolling with that sound because it works of course it's hard to get that sound um i have a water bottle i'm not just drinking it i kind of want to show that as like an example of what you can do with like a water bottle um you make a drum beat or something right you have a drum beat and then you know what if you on each kick drum or each snare drum before the snare drum you have that all right and like the listener hears this water crunch or something like just you know stuff like that is really what pulls it through man like you have to think really really differently um and that's been done before it's in movies all the time you can see there's a green screen back here so i kind of have a little bit of like video work and stuff too but um you know just the fact that like a simple water bottle under like a, a drum beat when when the kick drum comes in you know you can have just like the water sound come in with the kick or with the snare drum or with anything and uh that you know adds a little bit of thinking outside the box being unique and it develops it um i want to show you some songs that i think like just kind of bring that across of course they're super crazy but i mean like this is what people come to listen to you know they they want to hear um they want to hear this kind of stuff so uh something like this you know i want to give a shout out to hudmo i'm not going to play it too long but like you're going to hear this song and it's like it's just so crazy but it's one of a kind there's nothing that sounds like this Okay. So you basically get it. Um, that's like a Hudson Mohawk track. Uh, that's really, really, really unique. And it's just stuff like that that really draws people in. They want to hear. Um, I remember when I first heard that, it was like, what the hell is this? But it's also like, that's kind of interesting, catchy. So I, I went to hear his other music as well. And this was like a while ago before he was the big Hudmo with commercials and music on Reese's and shit. And like, you know, he has now. But um, it's just sounds like that being really, really, really unique and not being afraid to be unique. Um, I think like there's a social 
uh, there's a social backlash that comes when you're trying to stand out from the crowd because the crowd says, no, nah, you have to look and you have to act and you have to be this way. And if you stand out, you're going to be weird. And like, you know, and, you know you're going to not be like socially accepted. Um, and I think artistically that's, uh, <clears throat> that's not good, you know, because if everyone made the same cookie cutter kind of music, there would be no variety to music. There'd be no variety to art um, and all of the art would look the same and all of the music would sound the same but you really have to not you really have to be um, brave enough to step away from like the crowd of like sheep you know there's like there's all the people and they all conform and you have to break away from that and think a different way entirely that hasn't been thought before that hasn't really been brought up before and you have to implement that idea it's one thing to have the idea in your head but it's another thing to actually bring it out and make it into something real that other people can experience and other people can enjoy and listen to um, as music and i mean just don't be afraid you know don't be afraid to to bring those crazy wild ideas out because that's really what revolutionizes music and brings music forward um you know like if you think of a new scale of notes you know that doesn't exactly fall into the old music theory that we've been taught for thousands of years that like this is like these are the only scales that you're allowed to play music in you know c major then you have like f sharp major d flat minor and all of these dorian all these different modes and stuff if you think that like you're only allowed to play music in those kinds of in those kinds of scales and modes then what's new like what what new is going to come nothing you have to be able to just jump out and say look i'm going to i'm going to flat flat a note out of a scale that's where blues came from you know so they flat and blues they flat the fifth note of a scale and of any major scale any major scale out there if you flat the fifth note of the scale it brings it um into a very kind of bluesy feel it feels like it feels like it's almost there to the happiness of the music but it's just like it's like a half step and then it doesn't quite make it so it is blues um and that fifth note that's dropped down a half step is called the blue note because um it works in every major scale if you flat the fifth note it it does that but that's someone experimenting and not conforming that's someone basically saying look like i'm going to change a note of this scale that we've been taught our whole lives you know, we've been taught that we have to follow this rule. I'm going to break the rule real quick, and I'm going to show you that it can make a new sound entirely. And I think it's really important for electronic music because electronic music is so groundbreaking and revolutionary that, like, the possibilities, man, are just completely, like, the, the amount of possibilities that you can even think about for music it just exploded all right like we were kind of hitting hitting a limit for creative thinking when it came to music with just like guitars and drums and instruments but then computers came about and now this entire new world exploded full of um of opportunity and like of of ways to make music and ways to expand music and push music further um it's just incredible man like the the different ideas like the song i just showed you stuff like that can actually come into like the music that we listen to now and you know you can you can push music into the next era of humanity and the only way you do that is by being unique if you try to conform and do what everyone else wants you to do you're only going to become one of them and just fade away with the crowd but if you want to stand out and you want to be remembered for being and you want to be remembered in music you have to really be unique and make a unique sound that only you have and that you've really dialed in to be your unique sound um another example i want to kind of mention then i'll stop this video but is uh when you're, I, I know when you're starting out, it's really, really tempting to do cover songs and to try to replicate bands that you really like or artists you really like. Um, and that's fine, you know, but that's just because you don't, you haven't learned music yet and you can't make your own songs, but um, it's a good way to practice and I have nothing against it when it comes to practicing, but it really destroys creative thinking um, because you're not thinking you're not thinking uniquely you're thinking completely in this uh like trapped in box that like 
that's already been done first of all so it's never going to stand out because it's already been done once and um you know so the people would rather just listen to what's already been done successfully the first time than listen to something that's trying to sound like it you know so if you're trying to sound like another artist or you're trying to paint like another painter um but you you know you're never going to be as good as that artist because that artist has already done been there and done that and people would rather listen to them than like a knockoff version of them so um it's bad to try to replicate a sound that's already been made before um because you're never going to you know and like just the, the market of people the people that exist in the world would rather just go listen to the real like original version of that style or that genre or that that's that sound then to listen to like someone try to replicate it because um it's obviously the real version the real original version of it's better um, so yeah be unique it's very very important in music and art um you have to you have to be unique you have to dial in your own sound um and you have to think creatively so uh don't be afraid to be an, a non-conformist in music or art um be yourself be be unique and be proud of it and continue to make awesome music y'all yeah so um thank you have a wonderful day or night whatever it is peace